Welcome back to another Hokey for Life Classic. A Hokey Classic football game. First, first 15 minutes. Now is the game. Good protection. And Taylor, just as it looked like he was going to escape, got tripped up from behind, and the clock goes ticking. Jared Crick tripped him up. Under a minute and a half to go. No timeouts for Virginia Tech. Need to go another 84 yards to win the game. Taylor looking desperately. Now throws it deep. Has, him. Has a man open. yards have been to get for Virginia Tech. This could be a game saver. He clearly was out of bounds before he got in the end zone. They have 57 yards of offense. There he is on the sideline. The ball nowhere near the end zone yet. The crowd's roaring, but his foot is on the sideline. Yeah, I think they're going to look where to spot this thing, too. Where's the ball when he goes out of bounds? At the two. Foot's inside the three. The ball's ahead of him. They've spotted the ball in the three, so at the very least, they should move it a yard forward. They have 57 yards of offense in this half before that play that goes for 81. Perhaps another yard if they do move it a yard ahead. But that tackle and that hustle by O'Hanlon, the senior from Bellevue, Nebraska, could be huge. Monster play. But again, another blown coverage, just like you saw earlier that Virginia Tech did. But O'Hanlon gets on his horse, and boy, he took a great angle, and that, that's a big-time play right there. And at this point in the game, how can you let anybody get behind you in that secondary? And, well, and again, this goes back again to Tyrod Taylor with his feet. But they had their eyes back, you saw the corner back inside West, took his eyes inside, and then the corner, he goes right past him. Can they score the touchdown? First and goal from the three. They did not move the ball forward. They blitz Taylor, and he is taken down. Back at the 10-yard line. And it's O'Hanlon again. And they're going to spot it at the 11. No timeouts left. Under a minute to go. Boy, you have to wonder about that call. You had Williams pounding it forward from time to time today. And they run a play that runs the risk of a big loss, and that's what happened. And they're taking time as well. Pressure again on the right side. And Taylor forced to scramble. Will he throw, throw it away. away? He throws it up for grabs. Incomplete over the head of Greg Boone. Third and goal from the 11. Virginia Tech down by five with 33 seconds to go. With no timeouts for either team. Matt O'Hanlon, though, two outstanding plays. I mean, what a great job to run him down. And then they come on the pressure, and, they, and he makes the sack. And, of course, now you're down to third goal from the 11-yard line. This Nebraska defense has played valiantly all day. One colossal breakdown, but now they're going to cover it up for the stand in the final minute. Taylor, design roll to the left, now comes back to the right. Waving receivers around, nobody open, running out of time, finally throws, and it's gone! Touchdown, Dyrell Roberts!
And that's going to be over two here, Sean. 11-yard touchdown. They went 88 yards in five plays. After they had done nothing all half, they're going to line up to go for two. The officials are reviewing this. Apparently, they want to make sure it was a catch. And you can feel the anxiety along the sellout crowd of Lane Stadium. They're wondering, why are the officials looking at this? Is it possible they could take down this dramatic touchdown? Now that's a catch. That's a catch all the way. You can understand why they want to be sure, but it's absolutely certain. And give Roberts credit. He was a tailback in high school. They moved him to wide receiver to replenish their depleted receiving core. Well, no doubt. And he is very quickly emerging as a big play threat. He had the big kickoff return. Hey, to start the game, and now he has the touchdown kick. And we're having an awesome game right here. And pretty, Oma, Omakimura had himself a heck of a play, but Washington just beat USC. How big is that? And college football gets more fun every day. Yeah, it's been a wild few weeks to open the season. Still time to go here. Bear in mind, Nebraska has a great kicker. They'll get another chance. Virginia Tech trying to go for two, make it a three-point game. Then a field goal could only tie them. And, of course, you don't want to turn it over on the two-point play and have Nebraska run it back the other way, which is a possibility. And with that in mind, Taylor doesn't want to risk a catastrophic mistake. And Barry. Justin Meyer with a big oh, kick no, off. Sorry, that's Still a chance for Nebraska. Alex Henry has a strong leg. His career long field goal is 57 yards. They'd love a big return from Rex Burkhead or Niles Paul. No timeouts for Nebraska. 15, let's send you back to the top down. Burkhead's a true freshman with good speed. And he is chopped down shy of the 15. Based on the fact they didn't blow it dead, you'd think it was against the back. Sorry. Please get them away from the uh, half time. Flag down. Well, they do not stop the play. It's caught by Paul. He got flattened at the 34. They'll stop the clock to move the chains and sort out the penalty. Now, the point of this series is to show what we used to be and the defense what we are now. With the big hit on Paul. You think they're bringing the ball back? Somebody lined up wrong again. That just blows your mind. It happened to Virginia Tech at the beginning of the game, and now it's happening to Nebraska at the end of the game. And Sean, they were only about 25 yards away yep. from taking a field goal. Now they're back at the 10. Now they got to get it out of bounds because you got to get your field goal unit in. You have to defend the perimeter, and he's got to got to push the ball down the field here. Wipes out a 19-yard gain, the ninth penalty against Nebraska. There's a couple of key mistakes that cost them at home last year against Virginia Tech. And today, the defensive breakdown that Bo Pelini and Carl Pelini still can't believe when they had the game won. From the 10, 12 seconds to go. Three receivers were to the left of Lee, one to the right. Now he's just going to hope for the miracle. And it is batted around and intercepted. Rashad Carmichael will run out the final seconds. One of the most dramatic wins ever in Lane Stadium for Virginia Tech. The funny thing is, we haven't rushed the field since this game, I don't think. The last year, we were able to hang one. I wish there was. If there was a sellout crowd at the game, I could not send one. Well, the Hokies with the win.
avoid losing two of their first three games for the first time since 1995 when they started 0-2, and Nebraska will have to wait for another day to get that long-anticipated win on the road against the top-20 team. Here's Holly Rowe. Yeah, the potential would be great, but Lloyd, we have a shitty pick.